Okay guys, Alexi Bellion here. I'm just going to review a couple things because you guys are on March break here. So I might as well um, record a couple of things we did in class last, okay? So we all worked on uh, our version of the pillar here. We played around with tones and I didn't get too detailed on this. Um, let's see, I may bring my, I have a dual monitor going here, but that's okay. Um, what I'll do is for now is I'll avoid Photoshop for this session. And I'm just going to save this right now as my demo for you guys. Just going to go through a couple things quickly, okay, for you. Um, for instance, um, for example, right here actually, and I got into the cut tool and so on. So maybe I'll review that for you guys. Okay, I'll just take this one for now and Command D, and I'll duplicate it. And I'm just going to slide on this side to make a new version. Um, okay, what's cool is, again, if I didn't have my textures on and I duplicated this one, and I added texture to it, what would happen is um, all these pieces that have been duplicated from the original have the same texture. Another thing that we did is we actually, every time we rotated uh, a post or a pillar, or whatever you like, we actually um, rotated. So that's kind of cool, right? So right there you can see here, A and B do not look the same, um, but kind of cool. It looks all right to me. I'm liking this. I did this super fast. I can get very detailed here. Maybe when we get into the shingles and stuff and maybe the wood strapping underneath here I can get into more detail okay but for now this is okay okay so command D one more time uh, W up here let's bring it up and rotate it obviously E on the one axis only red and then red being X in this case and I'm looking at the number there and it's 90 sweet okay and what I'm just gonna do is recreate what you saw there Zoom in here for you guys, and just kind of lay it out like that. Kind of cool, huh? Now, why is there? Oh, yeah, okay, so that's what's happening. All right, so we'll do something like this. And what I'll do is I'll add two more right now for you, okay? Command T one more time, and um, E to rotate. And this one's probably okay, so let's just uh, bring that 45 right there. W here, over down, and that kind of stuff. So this looks pretty good for support structure. I'm thinking of cutting it right there and here. Um, I'll explain the logic in a second for you guys, okay? And let's do one more command D. I could have actually used the mirror tool. I'll do that later in my next uh, example. So again, uh, just keep going. Hello. Again, stick to the X axis. Delete that for a second. Let's think here. What am I doing here? I can. I didn't rotate that one at all. So I'm looking. Uh, the fact that I'm going to cut it, it's not going to matter. Actually, I'll duplicate this one. Command D, W, bring it up, and E here. And this time, it's the blue axis here, as you can see. And I'll just change it to 45. Cool. And then W afterwards, and bring it over. Okay. So. Somewhere, if that's the center of it, roughly, yeah, that looks pretty good. And I'm eyeballing this, okay? So um, you can see now the height and so on. This isn't the most accurate approach, guys, but I'm just trying to look at it here. Um, one other thing, I don't want these to be super accurate. So what I'll do right now is I'll also scale these down a touch, okay? And again, I told you guys, whenever we're scaling, I'm going to try to pick from the inside scale, okay? So touch it up. So you're seeing a 0.8 here. Okay, that's cool. Let's do that. Point eight. Nice. And I'll do the same thing for this one. Press R. And you can see again, I'll type in point eight. Let's go point seven eight this time. So again, just a touch difference, okay? Because there's you know, this isn't mass produced in our day and time. Okay, so that's coming in here, fine. Got that little angle going. This one comes up a touch. Right here. Okay, so we're good, I think for now and of course we're gonna and actually it looks pretty good it looks different here the wood grains right so that's not bad all right so let's get on this tool all right this is a cool tool all right uh, where is it this one here it looks like cut faces tool a couple things I'd like to double click to give you a sense of interactive XY um, sorry XY is, you know, so interactive is the way I want to go because at this point I have no idea what angle I'm working on so let's see enter cut tool perhaps okay so I'm gonna cut somewhere here you see that? I'll do that again. So watch, I can come 
come up here and you see how you can rotate you can spin around you can come down here and it'll cut it right command set I'll cut over here you can close this at this point okay so um, ideally the best thing to do at this point guys is to be in the orthographic view um, let me just escape the tool W and uh, come back to panels orthographic one way to do it is this method left Ooh, good gas ballion Okay, so let's bring back this tool. I could have pressed G, but for now, let's just come over here and and I'm just gonna go that way once and one more here. Vertical. Okay. So you're clicking and dragging. And I don't think the other one worked, did it? Let me just drag this down and touch. Oh, it did work. Awesome. Okay, cool. So let's just leave that. So what you do right now is just get into face mode, okay, and just select everything up here. W bye bye. And over here, W bye bye. Okay. So there's one piece right there. That's pretty awesome. So notice again, guys, we are working on efficiency of texturing. Okay, so this is a low poly game we're going to create, kind of like an environment. So again, nothing too detailed. We're not bumping too much right now. So we're playing. I'll bring the tool back again, and I'm just going to come over here. I'm just going to click and boom, right there. I'll do another one over here. Look how awesome this tool is, right? Okay, done. So W to get out. Just right click and go to face, select these guys, bye bye, and these ones as well. Pretty good. W again. And so you can see now, one thing I didn't do, guys, and I really, 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 really apologize is that, okay, so this is a pillar, right? I'm not, my naming conventions are way off the chart here. So let's go to P for post, or I can just go post, oops, not zero, post underscore. Um, let's call it entrance underscore. Let's go left. Okay, so that's this one. So if I had duplicated properly, all that guys would have been in here. So what I'm going to have to do is go highlight Command C, come in here, and I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to punch in Command V, and this time it's my right one, right? So at least we know. Okay. Again, if I had duplicated this properly, this name would have been here. All I had to do is put a two, three, or four. Okay. So I'm going to come in here, paste again, and I'm just going to type in H for horizontal. H-O-R, so you guys can read. And then let's go over here, and again, Command V, this time um, angle, right? And this one will be Command V, as you know, I should just save that, the last one, but that's okay, angle, left. Cool, so, okay, so properly named, that's good. Boy, you know, when, you, when, when I'm demoing, I'm trying to do so much that it's got to keep, uh, keep to a system, as they say. Okay, so this is cool. Uh, notice that's what we did in class. We're doing this one here. That's nice. Um, oh yeah, because I've got like a couple screens going. My spacebar is not working. I have to figure out why that's not happening. So let's go to perspective view. Hello, over here. Perspective, boom. Okay, spinning around. That's looking all right. Notice that at this point, there's a size difference here. Okay, these structural braces are smaller which is nice I'm okay with that what else do I do for you guys so we did the cut tool we're doing this and uh, we're gonna get back in class we'll demo this one here to texture uh, let's see did we actually put a UV on this I had a UV let's just check the mapping right now no I didn't work on it maybe I'll do that today as well okay so far so good um, oh, one more thing so let's just kind of uh, duplicate this for a second and slide somewhere okay so if I had done this properly I would have brought it here duplicated once twice kind of played around with the angle so you can see here I can come into edge mode take this edge punch it in a touch right this way so it's not perfect right um, and then you can you know take this edge here and push it to the back right some really cool stuff have fun with these guys don't just duplicate and um, and just leave it at that Right, duplicate and do something to it. Okay, um, I think this is good. You get what I'm doing. Uh, the minute I duplicate it there, all these textures, and again I rotate, so we're not getting the same surface every time. Okay, so sh short and sweet. I hope this is okay with you. Maybe I'll work on um, the base of the pillar here or the corner detail. Okay, we'll we'll map this together in UV land, and then we'll go into Photoshop, which I love. Okay, I'm really hoping that this is being recorded. Okay. Uh, value now.